One of the things we're trying to do as we meditate is change our habits. After all, as the Buddha pointed out, we're suffering because of things that we're doing, and we're doing them over and over and over again. That's the clinging. It's like those little squirrels. The danger comes, and they start chirp, chirp, chirp. The danger goes away, and they're still chirp, chirp, chirp. They can do this for hours, and it accomplishes nothing except for making the squirrel tired. In the same way, we do a lot of things that tire out the mind, wear us down. What the Buddha is trying to tell us is that there are other ways of behaving. So he gives us exercises to do as we meditate, exercise, things to think about, things to focus on, to change the habits of the mind. Now the problem is you're bringing a lot of your old habits to the meditation. And one of those old habits is impatience. I'm afraid there's no quick way to overcome impatience. You have to learn to do it gradually, but have the confidence that what you're doing will lead to good results over time. And you have to learn how to talk to yourself, to give yourself energy to keep on practicing, even when the results are coming slowly. So try to encourage yourself that each little step in the right direction is a step in the right direction, whether it's little or big. The fact that you've made that step, even the mere intention to make that step, is something skillful. Then when you carry through with it, and then you do it again and again. And after all, you begin to realize it does make a change in your mind. One of our problems, we live in a society where everything is very, very fast. We have to think ourselves back to the days of the the Buddha, most people were farmers, who lived very close to farming. Even the Buddha's father had to plow. And one of the lessons you learn when you farm is you plant the seed and you can't get the fruit right away. You have to be confident that it will come. You can't pull on the plant to make it taller. You can't inflate the grains of rice to make them grow faster. But you can look after the roots, look after the soil keep the bugs away, and the plant will grow. Now it's going to grow at its own pace. You can induce it to grow a little bit faster, but there's a lot of patience involved as well. So it's a combination of patience and persistence. That's what makes all the difference. So think yourself into that mindset. Have confidence that each breath that you stick with, each breath that you follow, is a step in the right direction and it's creating new habits, and learn some of the confidence that goes with those new habits, confidence that they will take you to a good place, and that you're capable of sticking with them. You may look at your past history and say, well, I don't see myself being very persistent or patient in the past, but we can change. The changes may be incremental, they may be small, but each change adds on to the next change, and the next change, and the next change. And you can turn yourself around. 